A strong reaction tonight following a KDKA investigation. We reported that a baby boy was seriously injured during a religious circumcision ceremony at a local synagogue. Marty Griffin reports a growing number of Jews here and across the country are questioning whether the ceremony is even necessary given the risks. The incident involving an eight-day-old baby boy detailed in a recent lawsuit happened here at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Squirrel Hill. The Jewish circumcision ceremony performed by Pittsburgh Rabbi Mordecai Rosenberg, who is also a moil. Sometime during the bris, Rosenberg severed the boy's penis. The boy was rushed to Children's Hospital, where doctors performed eight hours of microsurgery, described as successful. So yes, 100% complication rate. Dr. Mark Weiss is among a small but growing number of Jewish leaders who they say, because of complications, believe circumcision for Jewish boys is not necessary, and he claims it's dangerous. There's no question in my mind that babies die every year from circumcision. And, of course, uh, in countries which are more primitive than our country, than the African countries, the death rate is much higher. Locally, a growing number of people want to take a closer look at circumcision, even a non-cutting ceremony. It's a fundamental right of a child to keep all his healthy, functional body parts. Greg Hartley is with a group called Intact America. The belief, circumcision should be illegal. We live in a circumcising culture where people don't question this. It's almost assumed to be an automatic part of birth, which it isn't. Most of the world doesn't do this. Rabbi Rosenberg, who was involved in this incident, did not wish to speak on camera, but I talked to him. He called this a tragic accident and a horrible situation, and he said that he's trained in this, and he said he continues to perform the procedure. Marty Griffin, KDKA-TV News.